Interpretation of subsurface soils using fundamental in-situ tests and geostatistics. The key to a successful geotechnical project is to have a good understanding of subsurface soils. Several classic examples of geotechnical failures, such as the Leaning Tower of Pisa, could have been averted if the subsurface was better understood. Even recent projects such as the Kansai Airport experienced considerable settlements due to the misinterpretation of subsurface soils. In both cases, as in most geotechnical projects, soil layers were assumed to vary linearly in the lateral direction, as shown by the red lines in the given soil profiles. Is this really the case? Engineers use this assumption as a simplified approach for calculations, when in reality, soil layers have much variation in both the horizontal and vertical directions. Subsurface exploration for geotechnical projects is done by drilling boreholes at distinct locations using the various available in-situ tests such as the cone penetration test and the standard penetration test. For example, let's consider a site in western Mississippi where the owner wants to develop the unused land to construct a new commercial building. Before designing the building, geotechnical engineers conduct subsurface exploration using in-situ tests. For this project, nine boreholes were drilled to figure out what lies beneath. Each borehole log provides us with the soil profile for the respective location. Engineers use linear interpolation and create fence diagrams to understand the soil stratigraphy. Improved interpolation of the subsurface is possible using geostatistical methods. Geostatistical methods estimate the value at unsampled locations by incorporating spatial variability of soils based on weightage of known sample locations. For example, given locations A, B, C, and D with sampled values, we need to interpolate the value at location Z. In geostatistics, the location of sample and the weight of the sample value is taken into consideration to interpolate a new value at Z. Considering the same example as before, here we have nine boreholes with different colors denoting different soil types, as shown in the legend. Using geostatistical interpolation methods, we create non-linear fence diagrams between boreholes. A 3D visualization of the soil mass is also developed. Thus, geostatistics provides more realistic visualization of subsurface profiles than simplified linear models. Geotechnical engineers can detect problematic soil lenses which would otherwise be not identified. Enhanced interpretation of soils using this method can help avoid potential geotechnical failures. Thank you.